Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the blue corner, Nikolai Nijimarianu. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Nikola Nigumeranu. He's a heavyweight but moves like a lightweight. He's very elusive and light on his feet for a heavyweight. And I'm sure that's part of why he has got four victories in four fights, all of them by stoppage. He's also shown very serious knockout power as well as slick jujitsu in his fights. So we don't know what we're going to see from him. Maybe a striking match today, maybe a jujitsu match. You never know with Nicola Nigu Merano. He doesn't look very big for a heavyweight, but that's probably why he's able to move as fast on his feet as he is. Also looks very lean for a heavyweight. Oftentimes you see heavyweights carrying huge amounts of fat. Definitely not the case here with this Romanian fighter. Going through the last official checks before he's about to enter the cage. Now looking at his physique, he could almost be a middleweight from his build. Very slim, very fit. Look for him to implement loads of footwork today in his fight against his bigger and stronger opponent, Hatev Mueyo. And making his way to the red corner, Hatev Moyal. My manager was calling me back in the day like, yo, promoters don't want to book you because they don't think you're going to sell no tickets because they say you talk about Cleveland too much. I look at it like it's six years later and I'm still shot Cleveland on every fucking stage, I'm on every magazine cover, showing it off, tattoos and all that. I put that for every fucking song. I have my daughter in Cleveland, motherfucker. So don't tell me shit about this city. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Cleveland motherfucker till I die. die.
Now it is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the SFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, the man fighting out of the blue corner. He represents Kudokai CBU. He stands 184 centimeters and weighed in at 103.8 kilograms. His professional mixed martial arts record flawless at 4 and 0. Oh. Fighting out of Romania, Nikolai the Punisher, Nidra Marianu. His opponent fights out of the red corner. He represents UFD. He stands 190 centimeters. His official weight, 118.3 kilograms. His record, two victories, opposite two defeats. Fighting out of Germany, Hachi Your referee, Marco Burson. Red corner, blue corner. Red corner. You both know the rules. Listen to my command. Protect yourself at all times. Make it a good match. Shake hands. Step back to your corner. Coach, you sit. You have three chairs? You have two. Fight is ready. Pull! Hatev looks tense and nervous, while Nikola looks pumped up and ready to go. Look for Hatev to initiate a clinch or shoot as soon as Nikola gets too close. See the difference in their movement. Nikola very light on his feet, faking. Hatev quite static. And look how his legs are crossing when he's moving to the side. Definitely shows that he's not got a lot of experience in striking. But man, once he gets a hold of you, you're definitely going for a ride. Action! Referee already calling for action, as there's not much going on here. Hatev circling to his right, Nicolas left, which will definitely open him up to a left high kick or a left hook. Give me some action, come on. First punt thrown from Hatev, kind of just like a flick jab, nothing really behind it. Front kick to the body, Nicola just shakes it off. And Hatev's not really doing a lot here. Maybe he's just waiting for Nicola to overcommit. Out of just walking around here. I don't really understand the tactic. He's, he should be pressuring Nicola and trying to take him down. And should definitely be getting away from the cage. Now circling to his right needs to. Right hand, and Hatev is hurt, and he's down. Nikola with the ground and pound, Hatev just covering up. Hatev needs to move here. Referee's going to stop the fight if this continues. Big punches to the side. Full mount for Nikola. Elbows for Nikola. And another elbow. Nikola needs to... Hatev needs to move here. And Nikola needs to make sure that he doesn't blow off all of his load and doesn't power himself out here. Man, that was so close to being stopped. Hatev has got a huge cut under his eye. Man, that looks Time nasty. Time stop. You there, doctor? Oh, and the referee calls the doctor to come in. Man, that does not look good. Hatev's got a huge cut under his eye. Not sure if he's been able to see. Huge swelling going on there. Probably from one of the elbows from Nicola. I don't know if this fight will be able to continue. It definitely, even though it looks nasty, depends on where the cut is. I mean, it's under his eye, so it, 
And the doctor said that the doctor's going to stop the fight. I think it's the right decision. That could really does look nasty. It's almost like a balloon under Hatev's eye. And it shut instantly. Man, does that, that does definitely not look good. So, Nicola Negumariano with his fifth victory and his fifth stoppage victory. Definitely one of Europe's biggest heavyweight talents. And of course he's happy, but goes over and checks on Hatev because of course everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to win spectacularly, but no one wants to really injure their opponent. Definitely a good call from the experienced referee Marco Brusen to call a stop to the action, get the doctor in, get his opinion. And after one look, the doctor stopped the fight. So hopefully nothing too bad for Hatev. Here is Mark Markham with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at 2 minutes 35 seconds of round number one after our cage side physician determines that one of our fighters is unable to safely continue. Your winner by technical knockout, Nicola Nijermariano.